Hello, Steve White, Trek Boy 89 for Steve Arts 89. Well, a little bit of Star Trek news. We've had um, some pictures and a trailer and some poster art for the fourth season of Lower Decks. Um, obviously, I haven't seen the episode yet, so there's really not much to comment on. But, you know, they're warming up, ramping up for that to um, start soon. Uh, there's talk that season three of Strange New Worlds is ready to roll as um, soon as the actor strike and writer strike is over. They can go straight into doing the series, and they intend to, because there was some talk that maybe they'd... Um, a lot of studios would be using the strikes as an excuse to cancel shows that they weren't happy with, or uh, and so forth, and there was some doubt that um, um, Strange New Worlds would um, continue, like uh, that a lot of shows would just be cancelled if, um, if the strikes went on long enough. But um, they're saying basically it's up and ready and we're just waiting for the people to come back to work so we can go straight into doing the next show. And you won't have to wait as long as, say, you did for Season 5 of Discovery. Um, because waiting one or two years between shows is too much and it's not going to fly. Um, now, so far as the strikes, there, there is um, something planned on Star Trek Day. The, the actors and so forth are inviting people to join them at a protest on Star Trek Day instead of actually participating in Star Trek Day. So it'd be curious to see who does that. Um, there's some interesting things of Prodigy Season 2. Apparently the Doctor's going to make an appearance, and um, we know that Star Trek Online is going to have Captain um, Harry Kim. So there was some talk of some link to Prodigy. It would be nice to have, I guess, what would be considered a canon appearance of Captain... Hurricane, but I'm just thinking Timeless. What was he in Timeless? Did, like, surely they mentioned what rank he was at or had gotten to before he ended up, you know, digging up, you know, the ship in the ice. But I, I never thought about that whole him never getting a promotion thing um, back in the day. And I haven't sort of looked back since to see where that lays. But um, so there's a few things happening with Star Trek at the moment. Um, mostly just promotions of... Um, you know, the upcoming Lower Decks and that. And I mean, Season 3 was better than Season 2. Season 2 was better than Season 1. It's not a bad show. It essentially is in the same universe um, as the other Star Trek shows, and it does sort of obey canon more so than the other Star Treks, and they have acknowledged that Strange New Worlds is in an alternate timeline. It's in a different universe as well, but at least they're halfway to admitting um, that it's a reboot. <laughs> um... And I can, I'm kind of like, it's, it's, it's made me, a, it's, I've calmed down a bit now that they've actually acknowledged it's a different timeline at least, because, you know, I'm so, so tired of people trying to tell me, no, this is Star Trek, you're just confused, you don't know, you're a gatekeeper, you just, you, you just don't know what Star Trek is, you just don't know, like, yes, I know, thank you, and I can see that this is not what Star Trek was, and it's not the correct canon timeline characters, ships, costumes, it's all different. And it was so insulting to keep telling fans that, no, this is canon, this is accurate, that, that somehow we just, you know, we're believing our lying eyes, apparently. Um, but yeah, so it's nice that they're acknowledging that it actually is at least in a different timeline. They haven't admitted it's a different universe, but you know, like I said, they're halfway there. And it just ma it makes it easier to watch because you're not f being told that this is, you know, the old show, this is the original canon, this is you know, a different timeline. So just, just like I said, all they have to do is just acknowledge it, just acknowledge different universe, different timeline, and, you know, they won't be slapping fans in the face every time they do something that contradicts, you know, the canon that they're, they're reportedly, you know, a part of. So it does make a difference, and it's I'm a lot more, not a lot less bothered now than I was, you know, a few months ago before this was sort of acknowledged. Um, but, yeah, um... Yeah, that's about it. Just not a, whole, not a lot of specific stuff happening because of the writer strike and everything. A few products here and there coming out. Picard is coming out on Blu-ray pretty soon in a couple of days. I will be buying Season 3 on Blu-ray and DVD and maybe even the Steelbook, whatever I can do to support it. Um, yeah, that's it. I'm going to go for free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. I feel like I'm forgetting something. I don't want to do another separate video. I want to do everything just in like a bit of a news update. Um, it's mostly just promotion for Lower Decks and ramping up for Star Trek Day, which is going to be limited to a special that was pre-filmed, pre-recorded, because none of the actors can promote the show because of the writer strikes and everything. Um, 
And yeah, that's it. I'm going to go. Bye.